What's going on guys? It's Folklore Waken and today we'll be talking about Deer Egg, Do, sorry if I'm butchering these names, um, an Irish woman turned bloodthirsty vampire. This is another Irish folklore. So let's get right into it. It's about a young woman from Ireland that falls in love with a local man that works on a farm. The woman's father is an evil, greedy Ulficker, and he ignoring the fact that she was already in love, marries her off to an abusive chieftain in exchange for vast riches. Then a woman is found dead, and it's from this point the story of Dirg Du became one of the bloodiest in Irish mythology. The story of Dirg Du. There's a very good reason that the Dirg Du is one of the fiercest of many Ir Irish mythological creatures. Now, before we get into the story below, I want to address the meaning of Dirg Du. It's said by some that this translates to red bloodsucker in Irish. Once upon a time, the legend of Dorg begins at a time when arranged marriages were commonplace in Ireland. It was in the corner of Ireland that we now know as Waterford that this tragic tale unfolded. It was in the village in Waterford that a beautiful woman had fallen in love with a local peasant that worked on a nearby farm. They began courting and talking of marriage and kids. Life for the couple appeared to all going to plan until the woman's father learned what was going on. He was a wicked man and cared little for his daughter or her love or wants. A terrible promise. The woman's cruel father has decided long ago that he would try and profit from his daughter's beauty. She was the desire of many men, and he knew that he could use this to an advantage. The evil father knew of one man in particular that would appreciate his daughter's beauty, and that would be willing to pay generously for her hand in marriage. The man was a local chieftain and was known for his wealth and his family's brutish ways. One night, the father traveled to meet the chieftain unbeknownst to his daughter and made the proposal. The chieftain knew of the woman and he readily agreed, promising to give the father land and riches in exchange for his daughter's hand. The wedding. When the woman discovered what her father has promised, she was furious, but her hands were tied. She knew that she couldn't defy her father. The day of the wedding arrived and all but two were happy. The newly married bride and the local peasant that was her true love. He decided on that day that he would do whatever it took to get revenge. Then tragedy occurred. The woman's husband turned out to be far more violent than his reputation. He used his new brides as a trophy and he locked her away for days and weeks at time. Soon her hope evaporated. She stopped eating and drinking and soon after she passed away. Despite her husband's great riches, her burial was a modest affair. To add insult to injury, her husband married soon after. Her father still on cloud nine from his new fortune was too immersed in his own greed to be bothered by his daughter's death. The only person that grieved her passing was her first lover. His hunger for revenge intensified every time that he visited her grave. The arrive of D. Dearg Du, the bloodsucker. Here's what the story takes a turn and moves from tragedy to pretty damn terrifying. It's here. So the spirit of the woman was so filled with rage that it forced her out of the grave lusting for vengeance. Her first stop was to her father's house. She arrived in his room while he was asleep, killed him as he lay. She moved quickly to the house of the evil chieftain 
When she burst into his room, she found him in a bed with a number of women, void of any sadness or regret. It's here that the vampire link begins. The woman launched herself at the chieftain and kills him, stone dead. She then proceeded to suck the blood from his body, the vampire. After drinking the blood of her evil husband, the Dorg Du felt invigorated and alive. This feeling gave her a hunger for blood that couldn't be quenched. She used her great beauty to lure unexpecting young men into dark corners. Once there, she sank her teen teeth deep in their necks and drank greedily. With each conquest, she got hungrier and hungrier. Feasting on the blood of many, men under the darkness of night with the promise of love. And then she disappeared. This part of the story always frightens me as a kid. What happened to her? Where did she go? Is she still out there? Some say that the grave of the young woman can be found at a place called the Tree of Stonebow or Stonebow's Tree in Waterford. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was Dorg Du. Another Irish lore, uh, folklore. I love you guys. Stay safe. See you in the next video.